Welcome to episode 922, Alice Schwartz, Medical Diagnostic Equipment Billionaire. This is an outline of episode 922, Birth of BioRed Lab in 1952. BioRed was started with $720 savings in a Kinset hut in UC Berkeley. This is picture of the first lab. Kind of started by accident. Uh, we were having a student bridge game one night and joking about products that weren't on the market. And uh, it got sillier and sillier. And finally, somebody teasing my wife said, uh, it's too bad nobody's selling tobacco mosaic virus. I said, gee, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> so the next day, we drove down University Avenue looking for a storefront and finally end up with a little Quonset hut in Berkeley. The tobacco mosaic virus was their first product. It was also their first failure. And we then found out that no one was really interested in buying. Here's some background of how they met. Alice Swartz and David Swartz were students at UC Berkeley and they were both studying biochemistry. Alice and I have been going back and forth on what to do and which direction to go in. Well, there were many milestones. One of the most important was the equipment to test mad cow disease in the year 2000. For 50-something years, we've enjoyed it, still get along pretty well and uh, have a lot of fun. She's got a great sense of humor and uh, very knowledgeable, very good with the numbers, very, very bright. In 2020, BioRed Lab mix and distribute more than 10,000 products. Here's one product that I understand. Hi, I'm Sean. Today I will introduce you to the TC20 automated cell counter and show you many of its innovative features. If you work with mammalian cells, you know how tedious it is to count cells with a hemocytometer before splitting them or before running an experiment. The process is time consuming, sometimes taking several minutes per sample, and you often have to recount samples to have confidence in the result. If you count multiple cell lines a few times per week, your time at the microscope rapidly adds up. There is now a better, more accurate, and much easier way to count mammalian cells using the BioRad TC20 automated cell counter. The TC20 cell counter is very easy to use. Simply load the counting slide with 10 microliters of cell suspension and insert it into the instrument. The TC20 cell counter provides a cell count in less than 30 seconds. In 2012, David Swartz, co-founder of BioRed, died at the age of 88. His son, Norman Swartz, took over the company. Innovation and new products. And the outcome of that, I think as we go forward, is what, what I think of simply as better, faster, cheaper tests. When I say better, that's more accurate, uh, more precise tests. When you think about faster, it's faster time to result. And when we say cheaper, it's really more affordable, uh, controlling healthcare costs and the ability to make these tests available or more available to developing countries. Diagnostics are, as we see it, a very important part of the of healthcare today. I think probably the biggest challenge that the diagnostics industry faces is understanding. Understanding how important and how valuable these tests are to the diagnosis and treatment. Under the leadership of Norman Swartz, BioRed's innovation has actually accelerated and the stock prices has shot up as well. And Alice Swartz, now age 94, is the oldest woman self-made billionaire in the United States as well as in the world. She has a net worth of $2.7 billion dollars and she owns 14% of BioRed Laboratories. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Alice Swartz, 8 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.